Hey you guys, it's your girl Kalia Dot Fashion. And welcome or welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. As you can see by the title, this is Vlogmas Day 1 and I'm so pumped because duh, it is Vlogmas. It's going to be my first year officially doing Vlogmas. Like, I will always walk around, like, whisper when I was in public, act like I was vlogging for Vlogmas. Or if I was getting ready, doing my makeup, act like I have a YouTube channel. Just acting like I had a YouTube channel. So now I finally have a YouTube channel. Duh. And now I get to do Vlogmas. I'm so pumped because I love to watch Vlogmas. And now I get to be a content creator and I get to post for Vlogmas too. So I think it's super cool. But like I said, as y'all can see by the title, this is Vlogmas Day 1. But this is also going to be a Christmas wishes idea or a gift guide because I don't know what I'm going to name it yet. But basically, I'm just going to be basically. Basically, I'm just going to give you Christmas wishlist ideas so you can write it down and send it to your parents or you can like write on a piece of paper or however you do it. But I'm just giving you ideas for Christmas, but I'm going to do it in sections. So it's going to be this, 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 this for each category. The first category is makeup. First is the Fenty Beauty Concealer, and I love the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I actually have it. It's my number one concealer. I love it. It gives, like, full coverage, at least for me, and I just think it blends so good, and I just think it's the perfect concealer. Next is the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. I don't really use my contour stick to contour, but I use it for my nose, and I love it. Next is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. The Gloss Balm is so good, especially the heat one. It's really good on your lips and the color is so pigmented. Next is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Now, I do not have this primer, but it was like all over TikTok. Everybody was like, go get this primer, go get this primer, go get this primer. Next to the Jelly Pop Primer. And I really want to try it. It's actually on my Christmas list and I guess it's a good primer, so yeah. Next is the e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick Set. Now, y'all know I love to use me my e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick. I'm not using it today because like y'all saw in the last vlog and in Las Vegas, it broke. But I am going to get a new one. Actually, I ordered the No Budge Shadow Set already. So I'm super duper excited because I only have the Champagne Crystal, but now I get to get the full set. Next is the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. And I love that mascara. It's so good. It is is a big mascara and it really has your eyelash to look so voluminous voluminous next is y'all already know this one now i know y'all know this one if y'all watch my page it's the elf clear brow lash and mascara i love it it really sets my eyebrows and it's good for the lashes too Next is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. I do not have this, but everybody, everybody, everybody's always talking about how good it highlights your face. You know, I'm like, you know what? I want this. So that's also on my Christmas list, too. Next is the Flawless Beauty Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. It's also supposed to be a really, really good setting spray. I have the Elf Setting Spray, but I want to try this out. This is also on my Christmas list. And now, the last thing for makeup is the Rare Beauty Blush. I do not have this blush, but everybody, and I mean everybody, says it's the best blush. And I see on TikTok and people do get ready for me or they're showing off the blush. It's really pigmented. But that is the last thing for makeup. Next is the skincare category. Starting off for the skincare category is the Cetaphil Daily Facial cleanser i love um cetaphil it's really, really good and the cleanser is super good for your face next is the cetaphil makeup removing wipes i have this but it's really good for your face especially if you're trying to get like the skincare into your face next is the cetaphil oil free makeup removing oil well not it's oil free but like y'all know what i mean i love it it's super duper good on your face next is the super goop unseen sunscreen y'all already know if you see that on tiktok i mean if we have the same for you page it's super duper good and i actually got it from sephora for free because it's my birthday i got the miniature version but i was kind of scared to use it on my face because i never like use that type of sunscreen but i put it on i was like wows like yes wows it was so good next is the vaseline rosy lip therapy 
yeah. Vaseline is super good for your lips already. And then you're getting one that's tinted pink if you like for your lips to look like a pink tint. Next is the Morphe Gloss Fight Lip Oil. Y'all know I have that lip oil. It's so good and it really tints your lips. Next is any type of lip scrub. I mean, I have so many lip scrubs and I can't figure out which one is the best, but lip scrubs are really good for your lips. They make your lips so soft too, and it's really aesthetically pleasing. Next is Lash Serum, and that could be Lash Serum for your eyebrows and lashes or just lashes. Either way, they're super duper good. Next is a Gua Sha and a Face Roller. Um, I don't really know if I'm saying that right, but I have a Gua Sha and a Face Roller, and it's really good. It really tightens your skin, and the Face Roller feels so so good on your face next is a facial ice roller now this one is made for ice and it's made to de puff your face and last but not least for skincare is pimple patches pimple patches um i've seen them all over tiktok i personally have never used any but you're just supposed to put them on your pimples and they're supposed to like like squeeze out all of the gunk without you actually doing it next is body care the first thing for body care is native deodorant. Native deodorant is so good. Y'all already know when I gave y'all that little bath shower care routine and the that was the Dave and Buster's vlog. Yes, the Dave and Buster's vlog. I use that. So good. Love native. Definitely get you some native deodorant. Speaking of native deodorant, why not get the native body wash too? They have multiple different scents and some of the scents only comes in deodorant. Some of the scents only come in body wash. But I mean, you can find scents that has both too. I love native deodorant and body wash. Definitely recommend. Next is Bath and Body Works, A Thousand Wishes. Now, maybe if you're on my side of the For You page, you maybe have seen a bunch of A Thousand Wishes. And I actually got A Thousand Wishes in my last day in Las Vegas vlog. Um, I've been using it and it smells so good. Next is Aquaphor Healing Ointment. Y'all already know, y'all already know, y'all already know if y'all watch me when I do my skincare and when I do my makeup. I love uh, no, but for I just love the Aquaphor Healing Omen. It's so good and it really moisturized my face. I actually have it on right now. Next is the Nivea Body Lotion. Yes, it's good to have bath and body works, but you also want to have a non-scented um, just body lotion that's really good for your skin. I personally love to use Nivea. And last but not least for body care is the EOS Shea Butter Hand Cream. I love EOS. Sorry. <sighs> Life in the city. But like I was saying, the EOS Shea Butter Hand Cream is super duper good. And I definitely recommend the coconut one. The coconut smells so good. Next, of course, is clothes. First is hoodies. I mean, you need hoodies. That could be for summer. That could be for winter, spring, whatever. Hoodies are just such a good essential to have. Next is zip-up hoodies. The first one I'm talking about, the regular hoodies, but the zip-up hoodies are really good too because sometimes you just may want a jacket and you may just want to take your hoodie off. Next is sweatshirts. Sweatshirts are amazing. I love sweatshirts. It's kind of like a hoodie without the hood and it feels the same. Next is graphic t-shirts. I mean, graphic t-shirts have really been in. I don't really have that much graphic t-shirts, but I know a bunch of people love graphic t-shirts and it's really been in now. Next is sweatpants. Sweatpants is good for any occasion. If you're going to the gym, if you're just walking, if you're just trying to be cozy, you can use those pajamas. Sweatpants is just something that does multiple things and it's just really good to have next is jeans i mean of course jeans are essential you can have that winter spring summer fall whatever jeans you need next is cargo jeans cargo jeans have recently been in and i don't really know i think they're cute i think i only have one pair i need to get some more but those are definitely in, especially if they're your style. You know, why not ask? Next is low-rise jeans. Now, low-rise jeans has also really been in. But I do want to get some actual large jeans because I think they're really, really cute and they're really in. Next is mini skirts. Now, I'm personally not allowed to wear, like, mini skirts. Like, I could have a shirt a short skirt but like mini skirts no but i know some people may be watching my page they may be a teenager and i know mini skirts have really been in and i think they're cute 
Next is cargo shorts. I actually have a pair of cargo shorts and I love them because I mean they're shorts and then they're cargo so you get that like cargo pants look but a short version. Next is sports bra. Sports bra are super duper good because they feel really really comfortable and if you're in dance like me or if you like to go to the gym and stuff, sports bras are a essential. Next is leggings. Leggings are super duper good. They're really comfy. They could be used as pajamas. They could be used as comfortable pants around the house. They could be used for summer, spring, kind of fall and I just think that leggings are just essential especially for dancing. Next is vests. I love me my um what is that uh, a new vest that I have. Super duper cute. I think vests are really really in now. Like everybody always wear vests, but recently vests has really been in. Next are Nike socks. Recently, I've been seeing a bunch of people on my free page. They have Nike socks. They have the regular ones or they buy the ones on Etsy that's like custom made in different type of colors. And I think they're really, really cute. Me personally, I don't really want them, but I know a bunch of people do, so. Next are leg warmers. I love leg warmers. I don't, I only have one pair of leg warmers, but I'm only allowed to wear that for dancing. Next is colorful socks. I think colorful socks is an essential because a lot of people don't really have them. They have white, gray, and black. And then when they're trying to spice up their outfits and add color, they're like, OMG. Next are beanies. Beanies have recently been in and in and in, in, especially Mia Kalupa, if that's how I'm saying it. I love them. Their brand is super duper cute. But their brand is a little bit expensive. So if you're trying to go for something that's more on a budget, I definitely recommend Concord. Concord is a new brand and their beanies are going to be coming out super duper soon and it's only going to be 25 So get you a pair of Concord beanies. Next is earmuffs. Now earmuffs is more for the autumn, fall, winter, a festive theme Not even a festive, just the whole season. You wouldn't wear them in spring and summer. But I mean winter does last for a super duper long time especially last year and get you some earmuffs because i mean who wants to be having like red ears next are clear glasses i have non-prescription clear glasses and i also have prescription clear glasses and i mean i just use my prescription because the like why would i use them on but i love the clear glasses i think they're really really cute next are sunshades sunshades are super duper good for the spring and the summer i think they're really really cute and i just love sunshades next are tote bags tote bags have recently been in and in, in a lot and i think they're really cool because you have them winter uh, winter autumn spring summer you can have them whatever and i think they're really really cute especially like on the side and you can get the ones with the graphics or you can get the ones with like um motivational words next is mini bags i think mini bags are really really cute but i do think they're just better for photos because i have a couple of mini bags and it's kind of hard because my phone can't fit in it so i'm only able to put like tiny necessities basically everything i could put basically everything i have in my regular bag but my phone next is wrap around bags wrap around bags like the ones that you're able to actually wrap around your body those are essential because one i let you know like okay it's easier if like not easier but like you know somebody really can't steal from you and i just think it's better because like it's just cuter and the last thing for clothes is it's a flower y'all already know y'all already know y'all already know y'all already know i love me some to flowers i have three to flowers i have the to flower x ug i have the to flower bubble gum and i have the to flower lavender and i love them all i can't wait till i get to get my full collection of rainbow i mean of red to purple and then like all of their x collabos next category is shoes i recommend the nike dunk lows and highs because i think they're really really cute and they have really been in especially with the people they have been collaborating with like super cute next is the nike air forces i just think those are in essential shoes especially if you're a sneakerhead why not get some air forces next are air jordans air jordans are super duper cute and they have recently been in next are the ugg platforms um of course i had to go over the uggs so i already know i don't even care that it's autumn and winter is like you know i don't care i will wear my uggs all year round they're just super duper cute
especially in the house. I love the platform ones. They really have been in. I just think they're so cute. Next is the Uggs Tasman. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it has free sleeping and they're like really cute slides. I mean, you could wear them in the house or you could run there wear them outdoor i just think they're cute next are the uggs clears i have the Ugg clear purse but i do need to get the Ugg clear shoes and those are just um basically rain boots like hey you could finally wear your uggs in the rain next are converse low and high because converse are an and central you need converse all year round converse are just super duper cute it's Especially with the people that they collab with. Next is the New Balance OGs. And those, I don't really know what they're called. But I'm just calling them OGs. Because that is actually how I found out about New Balance. Especially if you live in the DMV. Y'all already know. Having them little OG New Balance grays are an essential. Next is the New Balance 550s. Those are really, really cute. And they're really in. Now, some people, they don't like them. But I think they're really cute. And I think they're like a retro. They kind of give me like a retro retro 90 shoe next are zara shoes zara shoes they carry so many cute shoes yes they carry cute clothes but they also carry cute shoes and i feel like their shoes are so underrated and the last but not last but not least for shoes are bubble slides y'all know i love me my bubble slides they're so comfortable they're so cute and i just think that if you want some slides that look out of the ordinary definitely get you the bubble slides next is electronics I've been watching some people and they don't really cover the electronics and i feel like you have to cover the electronics so the first thing is an Apple laptop. Apple laptop is super duper good for editing for YouTubers. If you're watching this and you're a YouTuber or you're just like a content creator in general and it's good for school and I mean, it's just a good laptop. Next is the Apple iPad Air. That's the iPad that I edit my videos on because I don't have an Apple laptop, but I just love my iPad. It's super cute and I love it. I just think they're so underrated. I feel like people just forget about the iPads, but you need to get you an iPad right now. Next is an Apple Watch. <laughs> Y'all know I love my Apple Watch. I wear them all the time and I have every single color wristband from red to purple to different type of shades of the colors too. Next is an Apple Pencil. Apple Pencil, um, it's really good for editors, especially if you're editing on your iPad. I mean, that's the only thing you can use it with. Next is the Apple Portable Charger. If you have an Apple iPhone, you need to get you an Apple Portable Charger because sis, aren't you tired of having your phone down when you out in public? Um, <coughs> get you an Apple Portable Charger. Next is the Sony noise cancellating headphones. I think they're super duper cute. They really, really are cute. They're like, they're so in style. And a lot of people have recently been talking about them. That's what makes me want them. Next is a iPad stand. I mean, if you're an editor or if you're doing school on your iPad or if you like to draw or if you just like to have your iPad in general, you need to get you an iPad stand because um, who really wants to keep seeing their iPad fall? And the last thing for electronics is a laptop stand stand same thing as the ipad second to last category is hair care y'all already know i personally work with talia wajid and i love their hair products even before i started to work with them and if you haven't make sure you watch my hair care video featuring talia wajid but the first product is talia wajid green apple and olay products Super, super good get the whole package if you can or just get some of them i definitely recommend super good for your hair and i've recently been using the oil a lot and look how shiny it is the oil is to make your hair shiny and my hair is so much shinier because i had to put that on before i did this youtube video next is the Tilia by jid healing oil the healing oil is super duper good and i definitely recommend Next is the Canvas Beauty Full Bloom Follicle Booster. I love to use it before I go in with my official hair products featuring Talia YJ. I think it's super duper good and I definitely recommend it. Next is the Canvas Beauty Blossom Serum. I like to use that oil too and I think it's really good for your hair. Next is the Pattern Wide Tooth Comb. I love that wide tooth comb from Pattern. I think that 
the wide tooth comb is so good for some reason. I mean, I've gone through a lot, but that one specifically is just super good on my hair. Next is a scalp massager. Now you can get a regular scalp massager or you can get the electric one. I personally recommend the electric one because not only are you massaging it, but then it's going around your head too. Next is a satin shower cap. Now I personally don't need a satin shower cap because y'all know when I be. <laughs> having to do with the beginning of my youtube videos i always be having my hair tied up but not everybody you know likes to type their hair and if you want to make sure that your hair is safe and is protected from the water then get you a satin shower cap next is a satin pillow i have a satin pillow it's right there but i have a black one it's really good it's really good for your face because satin is good for your face in general next is heatless curling rod curling rods are super good for your hair and i just think that if you like to you know curl your hair without having to put heat on it then i recommend and last but not least for hair care is a hair brush cleaner because i mean come on now take a look at y'all brushes right now five four three two one yeah now you understand why and last but not least for this YouTube video is Home Essentials. The first thing for Home Essentials is eat eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is really, really good for your shower because it cleanses you. It cleans out your nose and it just brings a nice soft peace to your shower. Next is the air purifier. I have an air purifier and I think it's really, really good. My mom has one in her room and then we also have one in the living room. It really cleans your air. Next is a heater. I definitely recommend heaters because I mean, come on, winter, fall, it's gonna start getting chilly and cold in your room and you just wanna have a heater in your room just to make sure you get all warmed up. Next are organizers and I think they're really, really good. Next is a printer. A printer is essential if you're like a content creator and you need to post out stuff or if you just like to make flyers or if you're printing something for school you just need to get yourself a printer next is a book light especially if you don't like to really read books in the light like me i definitely recommend a book light all you have to do is clip it onto your book and it has a little bit of light so you can see what you're reading next is a mini mirror stand i recommend it because i mean if you're doing your makeup yes you like to look in the big mirror but if you're really trying to look good in details without having to zoom in get yourself a mini stand mirror next is a jewelry hanger because who really just wants to have the jewelry on their desk like you need a hanger especially if you want to make sure that it does not get tangled next are shower shelves if you have space in your shower or if you have like the correct type of wall to hang up a shower shelf i definitely recommend it because that is where you get to put all of your products next is food storage containers yes i said organizers they're the same thing but food store containers are really really good too because they're made for your food. Next is essential oils. Essential oils are really, really good and they make your room smell super duper good, especially if you ran out of a candle. Next is a paper towel holder. Now, not everybody has a paper towel holder. Some people just keep their paper towels regular and I recommend a paper towel holder because you get a holder and I just think it's better. Next is a multi outlet. A multi outlet is really, really good, especially if you know you have a lot of stuff that has a lot of chargers. Next is bamboo cutting boards. Now, I see that all over TikTok. I personally don't need it because I mean, I don't need it. And you can just get yourself a regular cutting board. But I've seen a lot of people love the bamboo ones. And I do think they're cute. So next is a motivational water bottle. I think those are really, really good. Especially if you struggle with drinking water. It motivates you to drink water. Next are a dusted cup. So I already know. I like the ones that have like the little bamboo top. It's like a clear glass top and has the bamboo top or the ones that are just regular either way i think they look really really cute next is home decor i mean why would you not like to decorate your home as you see my bedroom is decorated to the fullest i have this 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 everywhere and i mean it really it really boosts up your mood waking up to see that your room is decorated or your living room is decorated or your kitchen is decorated the way you want it to be as an ipad case Oh, duh. because not all of the iPads, some people might just have regular iPads and you really want to get an iPad case holder. And that is the end of today's video. 
aka Vlogmas Day 1. I hope you liked this video and I hope you got some inspo to ask your mom, dad, family, friends. Or if you're trying to figure out, hmm, what should I get from my mom, dad, family, friends? Hopefully you got some inspo. Make sure you like and comment and make sure you comment down below if you found something that you really like. Also, hmm, what emoji, what emoji, what emoji? This pink heart emoji down below if you finished watching this full video. Make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2 and hopefully we can get all the way to the 25th. Bye and remember to stay fabulous. It won't be